ring bells with your children. So first we want to say thank you for sharing your children with us. Their energy and enthusiasm keeps me going. Okay. Um, so we are going to play some bells and sing some songs. in honor of a special visitor that we might be seeing later. Yay.
take
sometimes the road we end up on is not the road we expect. Of all the places in all the world, no one expected to be on the road to Bethlehem. Nothing good came from there. Why would anyone go? But many would. Something had changed. Something was calling them, drawing them, inviting them to it. Because suddenly, the road that led to Bethlehem was the road that led to God. Why did they all come? Why travel all that way? Who in the dark of the night or loneliness of grief hasn't hoped for a light that is lasting? Who in moments of transcendent joy or fleeting beauty hasn't longed for the creator and source of it? Who, when the world is so broken and unfair, hasn't desired a judge who brings mercy and justice in balance? All, all hope, all long, all desire this Messiah. It was this hope that kept each one walking toward him all the way to Bethlehem.
Mary and Joseph began on their road to Bethlehem quietly with gentle angels, dreams, and songs. The vision was beautiful, but the road was long. How easy it would have been for God to deliver this small family on angel wings or clouds, and yet here they were on a dusty road, step after step, faithfully plodding. Perhaps as she went, Mary sang the song she had composed for the child. God has lifted up the humble. He has filled the faithful with good things. Maybe she sang this even as the donkey carried her through the dust. Perhaps as he went, Joseph listened to this song from his wife and leaned just a bit closer to her, to the donkey, to the unborn child. Maybe he wondered at her words as his stomach rumbled. Could such hope be true? Be here, he set his heart on finding out when they reached Bethlehem. The shepherds did not start on a road at all. They stood on sheep paths in the soft grass that night. They listened to the familiar, small sleeping noises of their flock. They gazed up with tired eyes at familiar stars. 
And then suddenly, something new appeared in the sky. Then they were wide awake. An angel, a promise. Today in Bethlehem, a child has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Angel choruses appeared, singing, glory. And then the sky was dark and familiar again, but nothing was the same. They gathered together to discuss what they had seen, but the, the discussion did not last long. If it were true God had come to them, what could they do now but go to him? They left their sheep. They found the path. They started their walk to Bethlehem. The best news the shepherds ever heard came in lights, proclamations, and songs from angels in the night sky. This is what started them down the road, but it was not just the journey that changed them. It was the person at the end of it. As they walked toward this promised king, they may have discussed what it would take to get a chance to see him. Would they be permitted? They knew they weren't a well-respected group. Would they be turned away? What a surprise to find what they found. A scene they could easily enter and knew much about. There was no guard at the door, just a few sheep, which made them laugh. Oh, this is not a normal king. This is a king for us. In the quiet, 
in the stillness, there among the hay. They held and beheld him, Jesus. The endless God made himself small enough to hold. How could it be? And yet it was here in Bethlehem. The Magi came later, with no sweet songs on their lips or promises to follow. King Herod sent them to find the promised Messiah. Herod said he wanted to worship him, but even as he spoke, the Magi sensed the lie in his words. How could a person start on a road marked with suspicion, deception, and destruction and end anywhere else? Herod set them on that dark path, but it was a star in the sky that lit their way. It was a star in the sky that replaced their suspicion with joy. It was a star in the sky that illuminated Jesus' small face, God's great love. They gave their gifts freely. They knelt at his small feet. They heard the voice of God in his small words. They felt the love of God in his small presence. Having seen and heard, they left Bethlehem. But Bethlehem never left their hearts. 
every path leads to God, when it is God you are following. You might not know what road you're on today, or you might not be sure where it leads. It could be you are on a road you did not choose, or at least would not again. Nothing about where you are is an accident. You are here today, and whether through words, songs, light, or some quiet hope, Bethlehem calls to you. A child has been born there, Jesus, Emmanuel. And even as you make your way to him, Jesus has come to you.
lovely job, a hard job, a thoughtful job, I don't know where I'm going with that. A good job. <laughs> uh, working with us and getting them to pull ready, uh, the presentation ready in time. I do want to remind you, Saturday night is Christmas Eve. It's here. Um, yay. <laughs> We will have service at 7 p.m. on Saturday night, communion in candlelight, unless the weather prevents us from doing that. We will keep an eye on that and let you know um, as soon as possible, but it will be Saturday at some point when we make that call. Um, if we can't do it in person, then we'll do it in online mode, so we'll gather in some way on Saturday at 7. Um, it's a more casual service, so come sort of like you did tonight. We'll worship God together. And then on Sunday morning, Christmas morning, we will also gather in the fellowship hall at the table with each other and have uh, some snacks and brunch, and you can come in your pajamas because I want to see your special Christmas pajamas. Um, and we're going to worship God, sing some songs, and hear some stories on Saturday morning at 11 o'clock. So plenty of time to open your phone. Okay. Uh, we're going to bless the food. I'm going to invite you all to come down to the fellowship hall, give us a second to get the food out, and then we'll eat Mary. <laughs> That's an excellent question. Good question. I want to see what your I want to see your some presents that you get. If you're anything like my kids, you'll be done by eight o'clock. So. <laughs> Any other questions? I, I like your question. All right, let's pray. God, we're thankful for this night to be together to celebrate, to hear wonderful music that reminds us of you and why we are all together in this place to begin with. We look forward to Christmas Eve and Christmas Day when we can worship again. We ask that you bless this food and enhance the heritage. In God's name we pray. Amen. Oh. <laughs> Y'all were so good. Was it good? It was really good. It is you so good. Uh, even with us sitting behind you, it carries. You don't run, you know, you don't need to get one. So you hear it the third time, I'm like, oh, wow, this is good. Yeah, yeah. it's bad. It is good. Uh, I don't know what I mean. That's good.